Now, if you're like me and you always forget your passwords or you're tired of clicking the reset my password button, then you should check out today's sponsor, NordPass. NordPass gets rid of all the fuss around password. It autofills forms, remembers an unlimited number of passwords, and even generates complex ones for you. So don't be that person that uses the same password for everything because it's not safe. NordPass also recognizes suspicious websites so you don't accidentally reveal your sensitive information and you can stay safe online. Now today you can get 50% off NordPass at www.nordpass.com backslash Siobhan or you could use my code Siobhan at checkout. What's going on guys, Siobhan here back with a new video. Now a lot of my subscribers has been hitting me up. Siobhan, the new beta 7 is here. Make sure you update the video on the new beta 7. And as usual, there isn't gonna be a lot of changes, but I decided that I need to update you guys. So as you can see, my phone has been updated. If you guys want this wallpaper, I will have it linked down below. Just enter my password real quick, but boom. So we're now on the beta. I've tested it on my other device and I know there's a few changes, but nothing too serious. So Apple today released the seventh beta and this is iOS 14 beta seven, a week after the last beta released. Now Apple has now switched to a more aggressive iOS 14 release schedule and they're literally just dropping it down on us. We don't know when things are gonna change and so forth. But obviously, as usual, this will also be for the iPad as well and also for watchOS. So you could also install those. Now a couple new changes that I've heard about is with the wallpaper. So they added a few new wallpaper options. So if we scroll down to the wallpaper right here, choose new wallpaper, went to stills. We can see that we have these new light and dark wallpaper right here. So we could choose a different one. So if it's in the nighttime, you will get the, the darker perspective if you have dark mode on and stuff like that. So yeah, that's a new feature or a new change that we have. So I'm just enable this for you guys. Set home screen. Scroll up. Now let's go to dark mode. As you can see, we have that dark wallpaper. It looks kind of clean, actually. I might keep it right here. All right, so another new change and feature we had was with the app library. So the app library got some new categories, which were renamed as well, like shopping and food, which you can find right here. So shopping and food and also a finance and productivity folder right here. Now, it would be cool if they let us actually rename or thing. It would... <laughs> My friends keep messaging me. Anyways, it would be cool if they got us to rename or app library ourselves. But yeah, aside from that, guys, I haven't really found any new thing. This beta came in at 470 megabytes for me. But yeah, aside from that, nothing new right here. I had one bug with the last update where I would reply to notifications. And when I was replying to notification, I would get a blank keyboard. Let me know if you guys had that same issue, but it seems to now be resolved in this beta update. If there's anything I missed or you guys want me to cover on this new beta, please let me know down below in the comments, guys. And yeah. Now, we're probably going to get a public release tomorrow. But yeah, don't forget, guys, I also ordered the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video on that. As always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.